So in this section, we're going to look at the SI units that we use throughout mechanics. Uh, the SI units are, and what it stands for, the Standard International Units. So the international standard units that are used throughout these problems, okay, um, and are used internationally. So the big three that we work with uh, relate to length, uh, time, and mass. Okay. Now, this is not an exhaustive list. Okay. There are others that are, are the SI units that make up the SI units. Um, but these are the three uh, that we work with. Now, length... Uh, we are going to be using as meters, okay, so M, uh, not centimeters, uh, not miles, not kilometers, okay, but uh, length is given in meters. Time is given in seconds, so it's represented with S, and mass is given in kilos. Okay, and it is from these three that we then get uh, derived quantities. Okay, so the derived quantities that we end up using um, include velocity, uh, acceleration, okay, and um, well, force. Forces, uh, weight is one of them, for example. Okay, so these are the main derived quantities that we get. And what I mean by a derived quantity is they use these SI units. Okay, so velocity, for example, will use uh, the length and time, because velocity is how far you've gone over a time period, a certain time period. So it's how far you've gone over how long it takes. OK, and so that's where we get the meters per second, as it is often written, or meters, sometimes written as meters per second, like that. OK, so these uh, really are synonymous. Uh, we don't really write it like that, but just to understand kind of like why and where it's coming from. Acceleration um, uses uh, length and time, okay? Um, but is also thinking about, well, it is um, the velocity, uh, the change in velocity over time, okay? So, if we're looking at the change in velocity over time, then it is meters per second, that's the velocity, over time. Okay? And when you do that, this dimensional analysis that we're effectively going through here, ms to the minus 1 divided by s gets you ms to the minus 2. Okay? So that means meters per second per second. So it is uh, the velocity that is changed over a certain time period. So then forces, um, we refer to Newton's second law, which we go on to use uh, quite a lot as part of mechanics uh, for A-level maths. And Newton's second law says that force is equal to mass times acceleration. Okay. Now mass is in kilos. Okay. So is going to be using kilos and the SI units for acceleration. So uh, length and time. So actually, length, time, and mass all come into this. And so it will be given by kilos times acceleration, which is meters per second per second. So that is how we uh, identify a force. And that is um, abbreviated to newtons. So one newton is one kilogram uh, meter per second per second.
Okay, so uh, we use newtons to represent forces and weights. Okay, so the one thing that really kind of like you need to get your head around is that um, is the key identifier what what a weight actually is. Okay, um, and what you need to understand is that in common language uh, we say um, when we ask like how much do you weigh. Okay, uh, this is not in scientific terms synonymous with your mass. So uh, your mass uh, remains fixed, uh, but your weight will change depending on which planet you're on. Okay, so your weight on Earth will be different to your weight on the Moon. Okay, you will weigh less on the Moon, but your mass, like what actually physically builds you up, okay, uh, remains the same. So that's kind of like the, the difficulty that you need to kind of like get your head around is that when we talk about weight in mechanics, we're talking about a force um, that is working directly downwards, okay, towards the centre of the Earth. So um, that's what you've kind of got to get your head around, that difference between weight and mass.